What's up guys, back here with another video, another reaction, and uh, this time it's going to be the PFL 2021 Championships. Uh, it was a great night of fight all around. Congratulations to every one of the $6 million winners, you know, for each division. And um, yeah guys, if you're new, welcome. Hit the subscribe button, ring that bell to get all notifications, and uh, let's get right to the breakdown and reaction. So first up, I'm going to be talking about Clarissa Shields. Uh, she's making her uh, second pro fight in MMA against Abigail Montez. Uh, it was expected how it went, how I expected it. Uh, but you know, um, I think Clarissa showed really good, promising. You know, compared to how I've seen when other people make the transition to MMA, uh, it's very hard. Uh, Clarissa sure has a big gap to to fill when it comes to the grappling aspect. And uh, yeah, man, I feel like um, Montez did enough in the second and third round, definitely. You know, she got the two takedowns that she needed in the second and third round. You know, I dominated Clarissa Shield. Was it the most entertaining fight? No. Uh, but when it was up in the feet, Clarissa Shield was taking her apart a little by little. Uh, a lot of fence playing, a lot of clinching in the cage. Um, like I said, Clarissa Shield showed great takedown defense. And even when she got taken down, especially in the second, she got back up to her feet. You know, she showed uh, very much improvements in her uh, takedown defense for the most part for right now. Uh, the only thing I feel like that hurt Clarissa Shield more in this fight was just her sprinting forward. You know, I get it. When you're in a boxing, when you're always a boxer, you don't have that mindset of, I'm just going to, you have the mindset of sometimes just rushing in or whatever on your opponent. But, you know, in the world of MMA, it's going to be kind of hard to do that, especially when you have somebody that maybe their grappling don't have to be the best. But right now, I feel like anyone that Clarissa Shields is going to face has an advantage in the grappling, and Montez did. You know, she took advantage of Clarissa Shields running forward, and she got, you know, taken down in the second round. You know, um, Clarissa Shields definitely won the first, you know, just for her output. You know, they, uh, Montez was able to hold it in the fence in the first, but that was pretty much it. Second round, she got the takedown. Clarissa Shields coming forward. You know, hold it down there. It wasn't the most greatest thing. Third round, pretty much stand up on the feet. Was just sure threw a couple of strikes. Now was jealous and got taken down again. This time, side control. And from side control, yes, yeah, she had a hard time getting back up to her feet. You know, Greg Jacks, uh, Mike, Greg, <laughs> Mike Winkin John, you know, did a good job on, on uh, giving her advice to try to get up. But you know, Montez is already. She already knew what she was going to do to get back up or whatever. And, uh, yeah, congratulations to uh, Abigail Montez for beating the GWOAT of boxing Carissa Shields in her second MMA fight for Carissa. Just go back and um, work on that takedown. Work on the grappling itself. You know, I, it's a lot of promise. I hope she doesn't give up after this fight. Anyways, on to the next fight. Chris Wade versus Habulin Habulayev. And that fight went exactly kind of like the Clarissa Shield fight. A little more striking. A lot more chain wrestling. And a lot of wrestling in that fight. Uh, Habalev just dominated all around. It was a it was a great it was a great fight. You know, people might think it's boring when guys are just trying to wrestle each other to life, to death. But uh, I thought it was a fantastic fight. Habalev definitely showed his heart. You know, he he just outworked Chris in that fight. The whole entire time, and you know, he got the victory in his fight. And um, the only thing I would say, Chris Wade, man, just you know, you lost. There's not much you can do. You know, it sucks when you put all that work in and shit doesn't work out. Trust me, I would know, as a former competitor myself, and uh, in the martial arts, it sucks losing. It really does. But it's always good to show respect to your opponent, regardless. And uh, yeah, congratulations to Habalaya. Now, in the next fight, Ray Cooper, the third, versus Magomed from Magomed Karimov. Woo! Man, that fight was a phenomenal fight. It's, Ray Cooper is a savage, man. And so is Magomed. Magomed definitely won the first round with his takedown. And he, uh, just holding back Ray Cooper... You know, from throwing those big coconut bombs that he got in his hands. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much how the first round went. 
um, Michael may have took him down and, and did some pretty decent work on that when Cooper got up or whatever. Then the second round comes pretty much the same until um, Ray Cooper decided to use his wrestling, get the takedown, and and work um, Magomedov, you know, to uh, you know towards the end of the round or whatever. And then the third round starts, and again stand up on the feet a little bit. Magomedov comes, lands a beautiful overhand right, which really stuns Ray Cooper. And Magomedov went for the kill. And uh, obviously they didn't get the, the finish. You know, Ray Cooper came back. You know, hit him with a beautiful right hand to a left. He missed with the left a little bit and caught him with another right, which puts Magomedov out, turns the lights off. And that, that was a good night for Ray Cooper. Third, what a great comeback uh, victory for Ray Cooper. And uh, congratulations to Ray Cooper, man. I, I don't know about him, you know, after, in his interview, he was talking about or set me up with UFC or Bellator champ. Uh, I don't know about the Bellator, but I know UFC, man. You definitely, that's going to come out with me as a, as a savage. <laughs> it's a savage. But anyways, congratulations to Ray Cooper III. Now, for the main event, we had uh, Kayla Harrison versus Taylor Gargado. I hope I said that right. Um, You know, it started off kind of, you know, a little different. I the, you know, this time around, we seen Kayla Harrison get hit a little bit more than usual. Um, for sure, definitely, I, I haven't seen um, Kayla Harrison get hit like that ever in the PFL that much. You know, but at the end of the day, she got that fight down to the ground. Uh, and Gar Gar and Taylor was just, you know, defend or had was on the defensive. You know, it was pretty much like that throughout the whole whole first round. Second round starts do a little bit good. You know, her corner is telling her, you know, just if you're going to don't really clinch with her because, you know, she, that's how she's getting the takedowns. But once again, Kayla Harrison, a savage with her ground game. Striking wasn't working. She went right to the grappling and uh, just dominated there. And I feel like after a while, she just kind of broke her. You know, she didn't really want to be there anymore. You know, she ended up in Mount again and uh, went for the beautiful armor that she always does. Um... Yeah, that was pretty much it of that fight. Ended in the second round via armbar. I don't feel like there's anybody in the PFL right now that's woman right woman wise is gonna stop Kayla Harrison no time soon. I don't I don't see anybody really really stopping her in the PFL. Hopefully she goes on to bigger, better things. I mean PFL is amazing, but for right now I feel like there's nobody there that grappling wise, at least grappling. And that's pretty much her size, you know, who's going to give her a run for her money. You know, everybody's talking about, oh, maybe Amanda Nunes. But at the end of the day, those girls probably train together anyways. They're from the same camps. So I don't really see that fight happening. That's, that's what they want next, which is probably not going to happen. But, yeah, guys, if you like this video, please hit a like and subscribe. Throw those thumbs up for me, man. It, it, I would appreciate it. Uh, ring the bell to get on notifications, guys. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.